Welcome to the Shabby Fabrics at Home Studio. Today we are going to make something that is not only stunning, but super simple to make. And you can make these by using something that I'm sure most of you already have laying around your house that you're not quite sure what to do with them. So today we're going to make these fabric covered books. And although this is fabric covering the books, this beautiful line, it's the grunge line by Moda Fabrics, makes it appear that it's a texture appearance so simple and easy to make and they really are beautiful. So these are for maybe you love one of your books and you want to display it, but the colors, they don't really mesh well with your house decor, or maybe you just don't care for that book and it's kind of just stashed away in your home somewhere, just taking up space. This is a perfect, perfect opportunity to take advantage of making this into something more beautiful. So we have made this into a kit for all of you. Make it super easy. You're going to get seven of these fat quarter pieces of fabric, um, like I said, the grunge line. And really we did an array of neutral colors um, because if you have some darker books or lighter books, you can kind of pick and choose which one you would like to do. Um, you're gonna have lots of options. So you're going to have your fabric. Also included in your kit is some Mod Podge that helps adhere the fabric to the books, and then a brush as well. So we'll get started. Like I said, this will take no time at all. You guys will love this. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna start by laying down a piece of parchment paper. Um, so this is honestly one of my most used um, pieces here when I'm crafting because it's nice and large and it's so easy to clean up any messes with this. We have these available for you. Just a great craft space and area. So I lay that down first and then we're going to begin by measuring out our fabric and our book. So of course everyone is going to be a little bit different with this because each book is different. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to lay our book down on the fabric and we're going to make sure that we are measuring an inch, half inch to an inch around the book here. Um, and you're gonna wanna measure your fabric too by covering it, overlapping the book with the book closed. And you're gonna make sure again, you have an inch of fabric all the way around your borders with this book. We wanna keep it closed, not open because it changes the measurements there. Um, once you have your fabric all cut around that border, um, you're gonna go ahead and I recommend pouring your Mod Podge into some sort of bowl or cup because we don't wanna be um, squeezing the Mod Podge onto our fabric. It can kinda just leave, um, you know, just a little mark of it on there. So we wanna be able to spread it out evenly and this will help us do so. So to begin, we're going to move our book aside and we're gonna start with our fabric and you're gonna start with it um, with the fabric pattern down, we wanna be putting it on the opposite end. Um, so we're gonna dip our brush into the Mod Podge here, and we're just going to start applying a very thin layer of this. We don't want it super thick because it will start to kind of seep through the fabric. Um, so it's just a very thin layer of this going all the way around. And we're just spreading it nice and even. This is very forgiving. If you um, set this down and you realize you need more, you can easily add more. So now we're going to set the book back down where we applied it just on that one side to start with. Um, and we're gonna kinda press it down and we're gonna make sure that we're leaving our one inch border around our book here. So that way it covers very easily. Um, so then once we get that down, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna press it onto here. So as I'm pressing it, you could see that I could use a little bit more on the outsides. I got the center nice and good, but we're gonna get a little bit more on there. So what I'm going to do is just take this again, and we're gonna paint it onto the fabric that we missed here. Like so, cover it back up and smooth it down. Now, you're not going to have this extremely, um, you know, sticking to the book right at first because um, Mod Podge kind of dries over time. It kind of sits and then it eventually adheres to the book. Um, you're gonna want it to sit at least 24 hours before it adheres, but you're gonna be able to see where you have it applied and where you don't. Um, so from there, we're gonna get all the wrinkles out as best as we can. It will settle over time and then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna start covering the spine of the book here. 
So again, we're painting this on like so. And then we're going to cover the spine and begin to lay it over there. And we're just going to press this here. If you do have some Mod Podge coming out of the fabric, that is okay. Um, it might get a little bit stickier for you, but it, it does dry clear. Um, so you don't need to worry about it leaving a mark or anything on your fabric, but you just want to make sure that it's extra smooth. Um, and then from there, again, we're turning this over. I'm going to get a little bit more in here just so we have enough to finish. And we are going to then paint this on like so. See, we're almost done. I told you it's very quick and easy, but leaves a you know, just a beautiful design element. This fabric is really great. It, it kind of fools you. It really looks like a texture um, on here, gives it kind of a vintage look when it's displayed on your bookshelf, um, but it's really just that beautiful fabric. So we're gonna lay it back over and we're gonna smooth it out just like so. And like I said, it will settle, so don't worry about every single imperfection in here. You just want to make sure it has some cling to the book. And from there, we're going to paint it on again. Make sure that every bit is covered. Now, like I said, this was a darker book, so we want to make sure that we're grabbing the fabrics that are darker for this. Um, you can see when you're holding it up, but it is best to use the darker fabrics and then the lighter ones for your lighter books. Um, but you're going to have multiple colors to choose from. You're going to have lots of options. So once you get it all spread out onto your book here, we're going to start cutting the corners um, to make the outside of this. So what we're going to do, and I kind of um, pulled it a little bit, so what I'm going to do is pull this fabric a little bit to make more of my border because as you can see, I just by simply moving the fabric, I left a little bit more on this side than on here, which is okay, we can fix that at the end. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna go to our corners here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna take our scissors. These are the Karen K. Buckley scissors. I love these ones, perfect cut every time. They're just really comfortable and easy to use. So I'm going to take my scissors here and I'm going to cut into both corners here, make a little square where the point of my book is, one corner, and I'm going to leave enough room right here for the book corner itself. So you can probably see a better look here is we're making a square and I can actually go a little bit over, making a square around each corner in leaving a space here to make sure that it's going to be covered completely. And we're going to do that with all four. So again, a cut here and make sure we leave enough. We're just going all the way around. Whoops. It's really, um, this is very forgiving material. So if you kind of need to, we're going to be able to make it all kind of form together. It doesn't need to be a perfect cut each time. We just want to make sure we're able to fold the fabric over this corner here. We're going to be able to hide it later. So once we have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to now close our book a little bit and open it, turn it on its, um, just stand it up straight. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut slits for the spine of the book here. So we're going to look at the spine and you can see where it starts and ends here. And we're going to make a slit at the top here on each side. And then we're going to flip it over again, same thing. And we're going to make a cut on each side like so. And that's gonna make it so we can fold the spine in here. So once we've cut those slits for the spine of the book, we're going to set it back down and we're going to begin folding our corners in. Um, like I said, if your cuts weren't that great at this time, that's okay. We're going to be able to make it work. We'll show you a um, kind of a 
hack for it at the very end. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take Mod Podge again and flip it to the back side or the front side. It doesn't matter, just you know the covers of the book here. And we're gonna start applying Mod Podge to the fabric on the corners, just like so. And we're gonna start folding it in. So we have that slit from the spine that allows us to fold it over this way. And we're kind of just pulling the fabric as we're going along to make sure that it's nice and straight. Um, sometimes the Mod Podge, you know, left a little bit. When you're pulling it, it gets a little bit uneven. So if it's not perfectly straight, that is okay. And we're gonna keep painting it here and just keep going around and folding these corners in. So this is why we wanted to leave some room because we want to be able to cover those corners there. And it is flexible. You can pull the fabric a little bit to make sure that it's covered correctly. Just like so, I kind of pulled it up to get that nice and covered. And this Maj Podge at this part, it's a little bit, um, you know, you kind of get a little bit messier here. That's okay to get it on this part of the book because we're going to cover that as well. So we're just going to make sure everything's laying down flat. And we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing. Flip our pages. Apply. This takes minutes and it will leave something beautiful for you to display. I know when you have shelves or bookshelves, it can kind of seem like, what am I going to fill this empty space with? And if you have these books laying around already, um, it's such an easy thing to do. They're taking up space elsewhere. Maybe they just didn't go quite with your home decor. Um, or like I said, maybe it was a book you just didn't care for or your favorite book that you want to display. Um, many different options, something we all have. And this just makes a very simple home decor piece. So I'm just going all the way around, folding it over like I did the other side. I'm going to keep folding. Getting some Maj Podge on there. there go. Okay, so now that we have our corners covered, like I said, the Maj Podge, it will adhere. Don't worry about it being perfectly smooth. Um, now we're going to tip it back up, stand your book up, and we're going to then tuck our spine in here. So because this is a little bit long, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a little bit just so it makes it easier for me to tuck it in. Um, you just need a little bit of fabric to be able to cover it there. So once we have that cut, we're going to take our Maj Podge again and put it on this little piece of fabric there. And then what we're going to do is you can see there's a space where your spine and your pages meet. We're going to just tuck that in there. And I'm going to actually grab a butter knife here, something that's nice and smooth and flat that just helps me tuck it right into that crease. So it's covered, but it's hidden, just like so. And we're gonna do the same thing on this end, sand it back up. We're gonna cut again, whoops. Apply the Maj Podge, and then just simply tuck it between the pages here. Let me get the butter knife. Some books are easier than others. They have a bigger gap for you to push this in. And others, we need to apply something a little bit more flat, just like so. All right, so once you have your spine all tucked in, what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down flat again. And this is how we're going to hide those uneven borders that you may have from just pulling the fabric um, with the Mod Podge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Mod Podge again. And this is optional. If you would like to, you did your borders perfectly, that is okay. You can leave it like that, but this is an option where you can apply it onto the cover again. And you can take this page that most books have, just a plain white page, and we're just going to glue it onto there. And it seals in any imperfections that might have been. So there you have it, a very easy DIY craft that you can do with your books that you have lying around. It just adds a little extra element to any of your shelves or bookshelves. 
Um, we will see you next time. In the meantime, though, be sure to subscribe to our channel and also follow along on our Instagram and Pinterest page, At Home with Shabby. And if you end up making these books, tag us in them. We want to see them. Use the hashtag At Home with Shabby. We can't wait to see what you guys are created. So thank you so much for joining. We will see you next time.